What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV back here for some more content for you guys and something a little bit different today that we're going to bring you at the end of every single month. What we're doing is a player performance tier list. So we've got five tiers here and um, we're going to put every single squad member into a tier um, and let's see how we go. So basically what we're doing is we're judging the player's performance on the month. Um, so we'll be going by August and obviously the first game in September as well. Uh, we've got every player here and the tiers are from excellent to good to okay to awful to can't judge uh, so i think we always have a bit of fun doing these tier lists um, and let's see how we go all right um let's bring it up so we've got it up there so the first player we're going to talk about is cootie romero obviously missed three games through yeah. injury um in the games he has been playing i would say he's been pretty good so what games did he play he played against Southampton. he played against chelsea and then he played the last game. And he and he's been missing ever since, hasn't he? And then played the last game. Yeah, played last game. Um, and he was he was not the best in his last game, but pretty good. Yeah, I would say against Southampton and against um, Chelsea, he was okay. It was it was good. But, you know, he had the hair pull, could have been sent off. I'll probably put him in good. Surely he gets a mark up for the hair pull. Yeah, maybe maybe excellent because of the hair pull. Put no. in Cucurella's hair or not? I'll probably put him in good. I don't think he's been right his very best, but he's been he's been pretty good when he's played. Yeah. I would say. I, I I'd agree with that. I mean, you'd probably usually associate with Kuti to being in the excellent category. Mm. Um, hopefully, at the end of, when we next bring this episode next month, at the end of this month, um, he'll be there. But right now probably say on based on performances he's in the good category mm. yeah exactly all right we'll put Kuti in good and also because you know for Mitrovic could have done better for that gold mm. as well yeah, you know definitely wasn't great. definitely uh next up Oli Skip yet to I think he's yet to have a game yet this season so he's got to go yeah, in the can't, can't judge, judge section Hoybier I would say excellent one. yeah I'd agree I think that he's been very strong performances this season um in every game he's been close to our best player if not our best player yeah got scored against Chelsea scored against two goals this season yeah yeah and and he's been one of our most consistent performance performers and I think he's really improving his on-ball quality um I think off the ball has never been in doubt uh his performance level so I'm really happy with him at the moment I think Conte is too so I'll put, I think he's been excellent so far yeah I'd, I'd completely agree with that so Pierre goes into excellent Next up, Brian Hill. Obviously, we can't judge that one uh, because he hasn't played mm. yet. Next up, Hugo Lloris. Um, you know, had a bit of a mare against West Ham. But apart from that... Mare's a bit of a stretch. Okay, maybe a uh, mare's <laughs> a bit of a stretch. But he didn't have his best game against West Ham, let's say that. Um, apart from that, he's had a fairly strong start to the season. Hasn't been tested that much. Made some really good saves in the last game against Fulham. Mm. I think, yeah, against... Um Southampton I think I remember him making a save or two against West Ham he also even though he had a poor game uh, di distribution wise he made quite a few saves um, Chelsea I think most of their shots were off target so I don't remember him to make too many saves um, in that one uh, Wolves um, I, I think most of their shots were outside the box I would I think he's been pretty good though I would put him in excellent I think excellent I think I, th I think he's had a I know the West Ham game distribution wasn't great but I think all in all taking all six games into account I think his his performance levels in really high and I thought last game against Fulham he uh, he, he was, was very amazing. good yeah he, and you know what he's actually been really good at uh, this season which he doesn't get enough credit for is claiming the crosses and coming for the crosses mm. and um, being dominant in that six yard box yeah not enough people give him credit for that and he's actually been really strong at that this season he's really improved that used to be one of his weaknesses and now he's really ironing that out mm. um i don't know look i know even against west ham we pointed that game but uh, honestly apart from one bad pass it really wasn't that bad from Laurie. so i mean I, i'd put him in excellent i think he's been really, really i think good. he's like flirting in between the both between good and excellent somewhere in between there but like we always say that when we bring up these tier lists <laughs> so round him up then yeah i don't know i think i think he's been playing really well this season loris i think he's been near faultless none of the goals i don't think have been really his fault um so i think i and i think he's made some really important saves um so and i think as well the defense has been fairly solid so i don't know i think he's been i don't know i'd put him in excellent I'm trying to think there was one goal we conceded this year where we pointed at Hugo Lloris I can't remember which goal it was um oh, I'm trying to think I just can't remember do you remember I'm trying to go through in my mind I mean you could maybe say the Reese James one where he was but that was like in the six yard box so it's difficult other than that no because Southampton wasn't really his fault 
Uh, second game against Chelsea, we conceded against Koulibaly and, and um, uh, Rhys James. Then we didn't concede for two games. And West Ham, I mean, yeah, bad, bad pass. And then uh, Fulham. Mm. And Forrest, he had a good game as well. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think he's been pretty excellent in my book. <sighs> I don't know. Why isn't he excellent? Yeah, it's a good point. I mean... <sighs> People will obviously go to that pass in the West Ham game, but like one you say, pass. it is just one pass. Yeah, you know I mean, for, for but it was a pass games. that led to a goal. Yeah, but the goal wasn't exactly his fault. Mm, it's a difficult one, but I'll side with you on this one. I'll put him in excellent. I don't think it's that big of a decision. Um, next up, Ben Davis, which is an interesting one. Um, <sighs> I, think I don't that, think yeah. he's actually started as strongly as he has been last yeah, season. Yeah, I, I think I'd. I think. I don't think he's been terrible. I'd probably put him in okay though. I don't, like. I think last season he ended really strongly. I don't. I, don't, I just think this season performances haven't been at his very best. And when it's been bad, it's been pretty awful. Against West Ham, I thought he was pretty atrocious throughout the game. Um, I don't think he's been like a massive liability, but like his on the ball passing hasn't been as good. Defensively, he's still been okay. So I think I'd put him in okay, but I don't think he's been. Uh, you, you just see the difference with Longley when he's in, how much better yeah. he is. It has only been one game with Longley, let's be honest. But yeah. I think with Ben Davis, um, that's the category I earmarked for him. Like mm. like when I called his name out, I was thinking like it's got to be an okay because even when Ben Davis is at his best, like you struggle to put him in excellent. It's always going to be around probably the good category. Yeah, I agree. And so right now when he's not at his best, it's probably okay. Mm-hmm. So Ben Davis goes in okay. Harry Kane, I mean, we could just put him straight into excellent, can't I we? I think he's been brilliant. Um, every game, five goals. Um, no, I think maybe one assist, but should have got one assist for the West Ham uh, goal as well. I think he's been so, probably been our best attacker so far, mm. and he's uh, always been a threat. Yeah, excellent, no doubt about it. Matt Doherty, we can't judge. Yeah. Perisic. Yeah, I think... Uh, you know what, good with, with Perisic difficult. for me it's good because I know there's a lot more to come from Perisic. Mm. I know he's done well so far and he's got quite a few assists and putting in crosses and stuff like that but I just know there's so much more to come with him um, and from for the level of the player, I don't think he's anywhere near um, you know, exceeded expectations yet. Well, not expectations but... No, but uh, whenever he's played potential. he's been one of the best players on the pitch. Wolves, he was brilliant against West Ham, he was our best player. Who else did he play against? When he's come off the bench, he's made an impact. Yeah, but against you know, Forrest. in those two games you're talking about being our best player, there were two bad performances from the team against West Ham and against Wolves. Um, yeah, but we're talking about him. Yeah, and I would think that there is a lot more to come. And we're, we're going to see performances in, in the next few coming months from Perisic, and we're going to put him in excellent. But right now, I don't think he's just there just yet. Okay. I mean, I, I'm, I, mean, I think he's, had a pre he's played well whenever he's played. He has played well, so that's why he's going in good. But he has been unbelievable. Mm, yeah, I don't think I he's. He has... I don't think he's been on the levels of like Hoybier, Kane, and Loris that we're talking about. All right, fine. We'll put him in good then. Do you not agree? Yeah, I mean, I'm probably not on those levels. But I think whenever he's played, he's played really good. Well, that's why he's going in good. But like, he, <laughs> yeah. But like, what, what more do you have to do to be excellent? Get mo like multiple goals and assists per game. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think he needs to be probably a bit more dominant on that left-hand side, um, get con more consistent goals and assists, yeah. And probably be better defensively a bit as well. Fair enough. Next up, Ryan Sessegnon. What would you um, say then? I'd say good. I'd say good. I mean, he's, been, he's had two, uh, three starts. One against, um, sorry, uh, one in the first day of the season where he was really good. Mm -hmm. One against Chelsea where he was really bad. And then one against... Um, Last game against Fulham, where he, he was, was pretty good. good. So yeah. I'll probably put him in good. Okay. I'd agree with that. Sessignon in good. Lucas Moura, not enough time yet. So. Hasn't pl has he played yet at all? Uh, he might have come on in the game, but he's hard He played play. a wing back. He's come on and played a wing back. Yeah, he goes he? and can't judge. Mm. Uh, Longley. I mean, he has only played one game, but it was a very good game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but so is it enough to judge, really? <laughs> put him in good. Two games. One, look, look, if we, I don't know. Look, we're basing on one performance. You're judging a player's performance over a month. He played once. He played well, so he's good. Okay, that's that's how I see it, right? Uh, Rodrigo Bentancor. I would put him. Oof, it's a tough one. Because I think he's played really well at the beginning of the season. I think he had a really good, great game last game. Obviously, he missed out West Ham. 
He then had the best game against Chelsea. Yeah, but he had one poor game, but apart from that, he's been pretty good, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's been pretty good. I wouldn't put him in the excellent category, but I'd put him in the good category. Now, I don't think he's been on Hoyer's level, so I'll put him in good. Eric Dyer. I think Dyer's had a good start to the season, but there's I've picked out th uh, three times now. He keeps getting caught out when he's getting out muscled um, with his pressing, and it's nearly costing us a few times. It's definitely costing us chances. So definitely things to iron out for him. I think, but by and large, his passing's been pretty strong. I think defensively as a unit, we've been pretty good, and I think he's been a big part of that. So That's a good job commanding that back line. As yeah, well. so I'll put him in good. I don't think he's been excellent, but I'll put him in good. I think I think last season. He was excellent at times, but this season I don't think he's quite hit that level just yet. Mm. Defensively, anyway. So I'll probably put him in good, maybe even okay. Yeah, I was thinking it's somewhere in between okay and good, once again, one of these mid categories. Um, has he it's been similar levels to, to Davis, has he, would you say? I'd say a bit better than Davis, in my book, mm. I think. But he has he's had a few mistakes in him, like. Uh, Hasn't really cost us goals, but it's cost us ch bad chances that we could have conceded from. Mm. But I think I, I think he's been pretty good still most of the time. All right, we'll put, it's, it is another one of those that flirts in between. But we'll give him the benefit of the doubt for now. Yeah. We'll put him in good. Um, next up is Bissuma. One game, quite a poor game. Yeah, it's harsh to put him in awful, but he wasn't great in that first <laughs> game. Um, and we are judging him off one game. Um, so how's he been in this this uh, month? He's been awful, I guess. It's harsh. I mean, he wasn't. Was he awful? Or he was, was he, he okay? Was, he was. He was worse than okay. I think he was worse than okay. But he wasn't. But was he terrible? He wasn't like shocking, shockingly yeah. bad. But he wasn't. It was below par. Mm. So I guess we'll put him in okay. Mm. What is that? Oh, oh yeah. Put him in okay or awful? We'll put him in okay. Uh, it's harsh to put him in awful, but maybe he was awful. But it is one game. I mean, th these are going to be revised at the end of All next right, month. I'll put him in awful for now. Sorry. Harsh. <laughs> Sorry, Eves. Harsh. Um, Emerson Royale. Emerson, okay. Yeah, for me it's okay because... The flaws are there. You can see going forward, yeah. um, hinders us in games going forward. But defensively, he's been really good. Yeah, he's played every game. There's a reason for that. You but know I, what I mean? So. As a right wing back, though, you need more going forward. Yeah, we know that, and we know we know that about Emerson. But in terms of how he's played, like I don't think he's been a liability. I think he's been a solid part of the team. Um, going forward, his some days you know against Southampton, he was pretty good. Again, uh, you know, he's a bit better. Even against Fulham, he was a bit better going forward. But Still need more, but I don't think he's been bad, so I'll go. Decky, okay. Decky, I'm putting him in excellent. I'm gonna me. put him in excellent. Had look, he had that brilliant, I think, against Southampton, he was amazing. Against Wolves, he was amazing. Again, who else we played against Forest? Um, he was decent, and then Fulham, he didn't start, and then Chelsea, he was a bit anonymous, yeah, because I was the whole team. Um, has he been on Ham. Kane's level? And West Ham. Yeah, West Ham, he was decent. I'd probably put him in good. I don't think, I don't know if he's been as consistently good as the other top three. Mm -hmm. Hoy, Biel, Loris and Kane. He has probably, you might, you might be able to argue he's been better than the players we are putting in good now though. But I think in terms of real top excellent performances, I think you've got Southampton and you've got Wolves. I don't know, like the other performances have either been pretty good or or but not also great. the performances the good performances that he has put in is up there were probably the best individual performances in the squad yeah, at all Southampton in, in general he was electric in Southampton on the opening day um I would have liked one more Southampton level performance to put him in excellent mm. otherwise like for me that's why I put him, that's why I would put him in good but yeah, I, I just think, think I just think Hoybia, Loris, and Kane have been that level of performance in more games than Decky. Mm. You would say Hoybia, Kane, and Loris have done it. Yeah, you're you right. I mean? you're, you are right in that sense. But the performances that he was good in, yeah, he was was, was probably the best performance of the season so far. Yeah. So I mean, I think he's at the lower end of excellent for me. I think he's at the top end of good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Um, it's going to be one of those flip a coin, coin moments. Is that coin. is that what it is? Looks like, yeah, flip a coin. Any of you not got a coin? I, th- I might have a coin here. Got a memory stick. Memory stick. <laughs> I've got a shekel. A shekel's fine. There you go. 10p. 10p. All right, call it in the air. I'll let it, I'll let it drop on here. I'm going... Uh, all right, go on then. Heads. Heads. He's right. in good. Heads it is. All by one, really. You've Just won Decky disappointment. and good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, Decky. Um, Fraser Forster goes into Can't Judge. Yeah, and hasn't now, played a game Now yet. comes the big, big moment. It's Hyung Min Son. Oh. <sighs> you know where he has to go. Oh, man. Unfortunate, I don't want to put him there. Though. I know, it's unfortunate. I don't want to put him there. It's unfortunate. Has he been awful? It's awful, right? For the level of a player he is. For the yeah. level of player he is. But again, look, against Fulham, he was good. Yeah. He was good against Fulham. Um, <laughs> and then I'm struggling. Hasn't been, uh, hasn't been great. Look, let, let's, let's go back to, to our player ratings, right, and judge it like that, because we haven't given him above a five pretty much until the weekend. Yeah. Well, I haven't anyway. It's a hard decision to make, but unfortunately... Sonny, I guess Sonny's been awful. I guess Sonny's been awful so far. It's, it's difficult. I, I love Sonny. And I don't want to put. Uh, we're going to get pillared by. Uh, I'm sorry. The fans. I'm sorry to we're everyone sorry, out there, but we're sorry for putting him there. Look, at the end of the day, by the next time we do this, let's hope he's going to be back in excellent because yeah, exactly. that's where he deserves to be. Yeah. Um, Davinson Sanchez is an interesting one. I'll put him in okay. He come in for three games. First two games, he was you know pretty good. The last game, he was pretty awful. Yeah. So I'll put him in okay. I'd look. I think. Um, the games he was good at, he wasn't like amazing. He was yeah. just good. And then the other game, he was awful. So I don't think it was like, who is it? Se- I don't think it's like Sessignon, where I think Session was actually really good in those two games. And then when he was bad, like when Session, when Sanchez was good, he was just like, he was like, it was like standard good. He wasn't like Romero good, you know mm. what I mean? It was like electric or anything, like really good. So I think I'd just put him in okay. Okay. I'd agree with that. Uh, the next three are all uh, players that haven't played yet. Tanganga, can't judge. Spence, can't judge. Saar, can't judge. And the last one judge, huh? is Richarlison. Richarlison. I'd put him in good, to be honest. Yeah, I'd probably put him in good. Although, you know, the minutes he's had on the pitch and what he's done, like, and the impact he's made, he's really good. Like, really good. So he's... He's probably what if that goal counts on against Fulham, he probably might be in the You know what? Yeah, actually thinking about it, you once you say that is like for the minutes he has on the pitch, he's been most of all had ten minutes at the end of games, right? Ten twenty minutes. And he makes a big impact, and he's made a big big impact every single time he's come on. He's like not wasted a minute, Richarlison. When in the last game when he actually had his first start, I gave him a nine. I think you gave him an eight. Yeah, maybe he does go in excellent. Into yeah. You, it's, I think he maybe because every does. time he because all the time he's been on the pitch he has been pretty excellent hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, but he just hasn't scored. That's, yeah. that's the two assists. Can, yeah, he has two assists to be fair. Yeah, two good assists as well. Mm. All right, put him in excellent. Put him in excellent. I think that's fair because I think he's in terms of minutes on the pitch he's pretty much made every minute count. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think I don't think it's that controversial actually. I think it maybe is excellent. Yeah, I mean looking at this tier list now. Um, well, let's just go through them. Excellent goes to Hoybier, Loris, Kane, and Richarlison. Good is Deki, Perisic, Sessegnon, Longley, Bentancourt, Dyer, and Deki. And Romero. I said Romero, I said Kuti. Um, in OK, you've got Ben Davis, Emerson, and Sanchez. In Awful, you've got Bissouma and Son. And in Can't Judge, uh, you've got all the players that haven't played yet. Yeah, Skip um, Hill, Doherty, Lucas, Forster, Tanganga, Spence, and Saar. I would say that Perisic and Deki are definitely flirting with excellent right mm. now. Um, apart from that, I think it's everything's pretty, pretty fair. I think that's pretty spot on. I don't think anything of that is unfair. I think that's pretty good. Um, and it shows the majority of players are playing pretty well. Yeah, it does show the majority of players are playing well. And it also shows that there's a number of players that haven't played yet and yeah. are going to be integrated into the team. Definitely. So it's very exciting as well. But I want to know what people's opinions are. I want to yeah. know if they agree with our tier list. All right. Well, there you have it. That's episode one of the Progress tier list. And we'll bring this back to you at the end of the month. But thank you, everyone, for watching today. Put your tears in the comment section below. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, Come on, you Spurs. Spurs.